what's your current assessment of the security situation in Jammu and Kashmir, sir? Uh, at the outset, uh, uh, my tributes to the martyrs and uh, the brave officers and uh, soldiers of the valiant Indian Army. Uh, every single policeman and policewomen of Jammu and Kashmir police uh, grieves and uh, they are determined that uh, shoulder to shoulder they would fight and uh, avenge and uh, make the enemy and the perpetrators pay a very heavy price. Uh, see, uh, coming to the assessment part of it, uh, the 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 adversary is uh, taking advantage of a distinct advantage which he has in terms of topography. As I have been saying uh, elsewhere, uh, numbers are limited. The groups of four. Uh, in, in uh, sizes of four in uh, four or five or six or seven groups which they have man managed to infiltrate and uh, seeing the gaps but uh, we continue to have the upper hand uh, this uh, loss is uh, certainly uh, regrettable and it's unfortunate but having said this uh, uh, the the shelf life of uh, the terrorists in uh, Jammu province is very limited See, what, has, what happens is uh, that uh, the Jammu province in terms of area Jee. is almost two and a half times than Kashmir. Jee. And uh, it doesn't have a flat land. Hmm. The entire uh, district of Doda, Kistwar, Ramban hmm. uh, and vast stretches of Udhampur, Rajori, Pooch, are absolutely Jee. hilly and uh, mountainous. Very, very, uh, not mountainous and in the ordinary sense of the term, but the Himalayan, great western Himalayan mountain sub-ranges are there. Now, what happens is for three to four months, usually, uh, the 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 upper reaches which are otherwise snow clad opens up vast stretches of uh, forest and uh, broken land uh, opens up and uh, villagers uh, from distant uh, parts uh, they migrate to these places and stay mm -hmm. there in very temporary hotments it is this uh, place where they are hiding these forests and they manage to get their food at gun point and then go back to the mm -hmm. mountains mm -hmm. so they, they, they know that this is a small stretch of about three to four months. So they have been inducted in a, you know, in a special operation kind of a thing by the uh, adversary in which uh, it, it's like operating within the enemy line. So 25, 30 odd chaps uh, heavily armed. Uh, and um, uh, I can tell you that uh, the, uh, the information flow is also very good. There is absolutely no support base in the nature of a separatist movement in Jammu. Mm. To mm. So therefore, that actually is our strength. That continues to be in our favor. As I talk to you, if you go to any village in Doda or in Kistor, Ramban or Udhampur, you would find that the villagers starting across religion, mm -hmm. they would have come on. They have been extending support. They are uh, praying for, uh, they are pleading for more village defense groups to arm themselves and be uh, fight along with us. So therefore, mm -hmm. uh, to, to have uh, a, a, a kind of uh, a feeling that as if, uh, uh, we are not in control is actually not true. So true. therefore, uh, so therefore that actually is the overall background in which we are operating and we some of the details uh, obviously uh, cannot be discussed as to how we uh, plan to you know uh, take on the terrorists uh, and deny them the advantages which nature and topography is giving them. Gee. My question to you was sir that we've lost about nine brave hearts in the last uh, two three weeks. We've got uh, 48 soldiers in the last across the forces, 48 Bravehearts in 32 months. Uh, some things happening which should not happen. Have you been able to identify why? How are they able to get behind enemy lines? Well, as I said uh, that uh, the uh, Jammu region has a very uh, different kind of a terrain and topography and uh, by using certain select, uh, you know, old uh, narcotics smugglers and certain limited OGW structures, they have managed to breach uh, our uh, uh, infiltration, anti-infiltration or uh, the border and the LOC. But they're very limited in number, as I have been saying. But uh, yes, uh, the losses they have been able to cause is uh, essentially because of the terror. Now, the information uh, gap between the information and the action is something which we are working and we're working very fast and uh, we are uh, devising uh, mechanisms, mechanisms uh, whereby you know the information flow from the 
uh, common villages is converted into action now these are certain operational details uh, you see in uh, the, between 1995 to 2006 almost for 10 and 11 years uh, this this kind of uh, terrorism uh, Uh, was uh, propped up by the uh, uh, adversary the uh, pakistani side in jammu region uh, in these very places where we are now talking of the rajouri punch and uh, stretches of riyasi and roda katwa udhampur all of these places mm. uh, the in the in the in the stretch of about 10 to 12 years uh, you know they had re- truly uh, there have been large number of massacres of uh, the uh, community uh, re- m- m- specific massacres have taken place but you see we tried to get our act together there and over a period of time when it was crushed and when it was eliminated for good with the help of uh, you know a very well oiled coordinated structure of village defense groups special police officers recruited by the jnk police assisted by operating base camps at heights Indeed. you know we had over a period of time we abandoned them we vacated them because of changed situations now we are trying to do something better mm. so it uh, is it, it this uh, this uh, gap which they have found is something which uh, they would uh, find it uh, very fast uh, changing against them mm. and it is only a question of time that before the summer ends they would Indeed. be uh, actually seeing a very very different scenario against them where we look forward to that sir but i just quickly want to understand what's the adversary's thought here why have they chosen this region or this theater for their action and is there uh, a cause for concern that they are getting perhaps insider support ogws are they present in this jammu region well there are two parts to your question yes. anand yes. one is of course you said as to why jammu well you see it's only an assessment i mean um, there are be other agencies who would be specialist in really finding out hard evidence to it but the uh, incidental and the collateral evidence that one has Uh, with uh, jammu and kashmir police suggests that you see very successfully the terror ecosystem was uh, dealt with in kashmir hmm? mm. in in which the recruitment fell the local uh, support base uh, dwindled very dramatically and uh, both in terms of street violence and ability of the terror uh, uh, networks to be able to carry out incidents also dramatically came down mm. naturally where uh, you know uh, there uh, The, the here the situation is two things they are counting two things they have factor the enemy has factor two things in our assessment one is mm-hmm. the terrain and the second is the demography we have a mixed population Indeed. we have uh, in several uh, districts we have a combination of uh, both communities and they think that uh, they would try to you know create a situation of a uh, intercommunity relationship creating additional challenges for the indian state now this is something where the jnk police because of its own uh, composite uh, strength and uh, we we are certain i uh, i'm absolutely sure that uh, just this terrain factor and this three or four months of window that the heights are open the grasslands mm-hmm. are open vast ridges you know tens and hundreds of kilometers of forest land and broken land where people have gone off mm-hmm. they would all come back to their villages by october end that is the end of it you mm-hmm. know so uh, so what we intend to do is but then in this very 3 4 or 4 5 months we would change our tactics of movement and operations we are in close dialogue with our army partner and uh, our capf partner and uh, some of it cannot obviously be discussed in mm-hmm. open forum uh, having said that what i'm suggesting is the second mm-hmm. part to the question is that what is the extent of the support base mm-hmm. i can i can i can say it with authority and with absolute honesty that it is nothing anywhere close to kashmir in terms of there is no separatist feeling as such you see Good. it is there are criminal elements who are uh, in lieu of money like any large society you would find moles who would accept money hmm. there are especially because it's a border area and there have been instances of you know for long uh, smuggling routes are there and uh, recent times they have switched over to narcotics as a major uh, and the con- convergence of narcotics and terrorism in terms of uh, hmm. funding of uh, terrorism has come about so those channels have been activated you know and those channels there are very few uh, and far between hmm. uh, they have been activated so that we So we accept that there is a limited ogw kind of a thing but the popular support 
is something which is absolutely not there. So we will leverage our popular public support in favor of us. We will leverage our village different groups. We intend to strengthen them across okay. the, you know, like that breadth. And we would like to arm them better with the better weaponry and uh, co-opt them. And uh, of course, uh, together, uh, the, the, a very well-oiled structure would be there when uh, the information uh, flow and the action thereof in a mm. manner in which the surprise which they are having now because of the height, because of the mountains and because of the people having gone up there for, you know, these uh, four months of temporary uh, grazing and uh, mm. um, uh, yes. So that advantage to them, we are certainly going to squeeze and um, make them Jay. fall into our net. Sir, I know you're in the thick of things. So my final question to you is that uh, the Supreme Court has given a deadline of 30th of September and that re responsibility rests in terms of providing security on the shoulders of the Jammu and Kashmir police along with the CAPF and the army for the assembly elections to be conducted. Is there a worry we, there or do you believe that this is a blip? You see, I mean, uh, when it comes to elections, we have already demonstrated that in the parliamentary elections, we have been able to uh, ensure that uh, the security uh, not only to the candidates but to the voters and to the hardware and the software of the entire electoral process was provided for and we are determined about that and when it comes to holding of the assembly elections similar kind of synergy and similar kind of mobilizations and similar kind of activations of the SOPs will be there in which there will be absolutely no quarter left to anyone to fiddle with this process mm -hmm. so ability of the enemy to uh, cause a loss uh, uh, over uh, 10,000 feet high in a mountain uh, area which is temporarily open for grasslands uh, is something which uh, if uh, they are, I mean that situation will certainly not happen in the habitation centers and the villages and will certainly not allow anyone to okay. disrupt the election process. So how soon before we start striking back and start counting their bodies?